number one K-pop classic would have to be Big Bang, Haru Haru. Everyone loves that song, and it's sad as Ooh, probably Taeyong Wedding Dress, because that's the first song i listened to, and that's been like a pretty long time now. So yeah, and I really like that song. A classic K-pop song uh, would have to be EXO's Growl. It's a classic one. K-pop song that will always be considered a classic is Big Bang, Fantastic Baby. It is the song that represents what K-pop is. Um, I follow a lot of JK films, JK news, JK part, J JK fam, and then David So also. Um, and then I get a little bit more into gaming with Vanos Gaming, Mini Lad, and all those people. A little bit of couch up, and uh, yeah, that's it. So I personally watch JK Film, JK Party, uh, JK News, PewDiePie, Nagahiga, Dominic Show, a lot. Even so calm, like you, if you guys watch our videos, you can tell that we get a lot of influences from them. And that's where I actually, that's what I usually watch. Um, I watch a bit of Raka Raka, uh, Chani, a lot of, oh, Wang Fu Productions, Wang Fu Productions for sure, yeah. I follow David So, The Fun Bros, and Iridescence. I'm, I only usually go on YouTube to watch K-pop music videos or gaming videos. So I will watch channels like Rooster Teeth and The Creatures, Let's Play channel, and stuff like that. Yeah. I used to watch like Nigi Nigi and all of them, but I kind of fell out of the loop. If I, if I were to meet if I were to meet Big Bang in the future, or any time, I would say this to them. Hey, you wanna go to a hotel and make a fantastic baby? <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if it was he, like, I could just say he was the key to my heart, so yeah. Okay, so you're done your question. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, that was the first thing that popped into my mind. I don't need no pickup lines. I just walk up and say hi. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> we just make a great pair. Uh, <laughs> that's not <laughs> <great. laughs> You'll be the last one. <laughs> on the show. I would be Jin Woon. Holy, like tall, pretty buff, like good looking Jin Woon for sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he'll song, cause you know. <laughs> she got a nice body. So that means I can't love you. I can't. You can still love me. Justin <laughs> cannot look away. <laughs> <laughs> I would want to switch bodies with Jay Park. Yeah. Ji Kwon. Yes, he's he's very toned and fit. Mm -hmm. And imagine touching his body at night. Okay, the next one. Uh, we don't know yet. We don't know what we're gonna be calling you guys. Bionators, Baconators, Big Macs. <laughs> I don't know. But you guys can vote here for what you want to be called. To get our attention, honestly, just come say hi and hug us. Yeah, that's it. Or shake hands, fist bump, anything. If you want to really get our attention, all you have to really do is just say hi to us. And for sure, we'll say hi back. Um, even we'll hug you guys, you know? All you need to do is uh, look at me straight in the eye, say hi, and give me a big hug. That's all you need to do. I like hugs. So just give me a big hug. There you go. If you guys want to get noticed, or us notice you, all you have to do is walk up to us and say hi. Uh, don't be afraid. We're not going to eat you. We're not going to eat you. So my role at Fresh Bound is I'm a leader, I'm one of the co-founders, I edit videos, I usually go on the social media accounts and post, as you guys know. Um, I also write with Fresh Bound and direct, yeah. I do mostly uh, reaction editing and then I'm also in the reaction myself and also I do like 
some skit ideas i like do like a little bit more like what's going to happen what, what we do with that version so yeah dance <clears throat> huh oh you do want dance oh dance stuff too but not for fresh bowen <laughs> maybe so yet. Well. yes yes so watch out in fresh bowen i am usually like the main camera guy when we're doing skits and shorts like that I want to become a cinematographer one day, so yeah. And I also do a lot of the editing for the big skits and also the reactions. And I help write some stuff from time to time. Yeah. My role on Fresh Balan is social media, Instagram, Snapchat, some Facebook. That's it, yeah. And the space. My non-favorite. K-pop album would have to be Linkin Park's what's it, Mitoria? Mitoria? I don't know how to pronounce it, Mitoria. Yeah, that one's a really good one. I used to listen to a lot of rock music in my whitewash days <laughs> before I had been blessed with K-pop. Now K-pop is life. Since Jason said Linkin Park already, um, yo, I haven't listened to like English music in a while. But I would have to go with J-Rock, and that would be Nanoware by Nano. That's really good. My favorite non-K-pop album is... It was written by Nas. I like that rap music, if you guys didn't know. My favorite non-K-pop album is Kanye West's Graduation. Possibly my favorite album of all time. Step up three. Don't judge. I like I like dance movies and uh, I would three? watch Step Up Three a lot. Yeah, three. What? Any know. of the step any of the Step Up movies except for fourth and the last one and fifth, except for Revolution and All In, because those were bad. <laughs> My favorite movie that I could keep on watching over and over again would be Rush Hour. Uh, any of the Rush Hours really. I just love the whole uh, trilogy except for that crappy series they made. Uh, but yeah. Rush Hour, definitely Rush Hour. The movie I would watch over and over again is, of course, The Dark Knight, because I love Batman, and The Dark Knight's the best one, because uh, Heath Ledger's Joker was amazing. Never gets old. Uh, I honestly love watching Happy Feet. This just makes me happy, yeah. It's... Uh, childhood movie right there. I watched it over 20 times. Dude, I'm pretty sure. Mean, though. Yeah. <laughs> Has so much feels and then the music too, and then the the the, the, the tap, so cute. Yeah, that's why I see walk yo. <laughs> uh, so the mixtape is coming out on August, so just watch out because we have like a few more touches to that mixtape mixtape mini album. So enjoy, enjoy. Yeah, wait. My signature dish is bacon alfredo pasta. An omelette! <laughs> what is your signature dish that you can cook? My signature dish that I can cook is usually any steak dish. I like to experiment with marinade to see what kind of flavors. My favorite one is the lemon sesame marinade. It's got a real kick to it with its sourness. Got that Asian flavor to it as well. Uh, the dish that I can really cook is tacos. I'm really good at making tacos. Uh, I always show it on Instagram and on Snapchat whenever I make tacos. And I hope one day you guys can try it. Balut. Balut? Balut. Yeah, balut. You got to eat little chicks. A must try Filipino food would have to be halo halo. It's a really good dessert. If you guys haven't tried it, try it out. Pulboroy. Like it's good, it's powdery, it's really powdery, but like it's addicting. Like it's like it's like it gets all over your mouth. That sounds gross. <laughs> 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 it gets really powdery and it's really sweet, so like and there's like different flavors from like ube, which is like taro and like Oreo. So yeah, it's really good. I recommend. Bugo Bandan. I think you guys would really love that because it has like you have ice cream, coconut strips, like jello, like it's the bomb, right? It's bomb. Y'all love it. 
There's not enough. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> so when you look at like sugar with no shirt, you'll give me a whole pack, man. That's not even enough. 